what you paid when you last filled up your car, but <laughs> average price for a gallon of gas in San Diego today is $5.48. It's mm. 10 cents more than we were paying yesterday. It's 62 cents more than a week ago. Ooh, gas prices, no surprise here. They continue to shatter records. Drivers, we're all feeling a little yeah. helpless here. Public watchdogs Charles Langley joining us now on the floor. Charles, thank you for being with us. And first question, do you see any relief anytime soon? I don't see any at all. We've mm. seen gas prices going up basically at a rate of a penny an hour since about noon today. And if that trajectory continues, which I hope it doesn't, we'll see gas well above $6 within 24 to 36 hours. Oh I mean, goodness. it's a, it's an incredible trajectory that's going on right now, and I've never seen anything like it. Well, that last sort of thought you had, you've never seen anything like it, gives me chills. Charles, like, what is your forecast? Let's just talk about worst case scenario. Maybe I need to prepare myself for that. What could we see gas $10 a gallon? I mean, is that where this is headed? I, I, I don't want to predict the worst case scenario because right now is is really, really bad. I mean, the cost of oil and the cost of gasoline are the foot on the accelerator of the American economy. And if you want to cripple this economy quickly, all you have to do is raise gas prices. Right. Now, Charles, uh, you know, people see the price at the pump, the sticker price on the big signs next to the street. But um, how do those, uh, as far as you can explain, how does that number calculate? How do we end up with those raises, as you mentioned, one cent every hour? Well, what's happening is, is the oil industry is basically doing real time pricing. So when oil goes up in another part of the world, a, a dollar or two, they factor it in to the cost of gasoline on the street in California. And it's totally unrealistic. It's not how a market economy works. But unfortunately, in California, we have so few refiners uh, basically supplying the world's third largest gasoline market that they're capable of gaming the market and really making a heck of a lot of money at times like this. I would expect to see refiner profits and uh, oil industry profits just go through the roof when their quarterly reports come out. Well, let me touch on that here for just one more moment. It seems like a lot of people are looking at each other, what do we do, and then turning to politicians and saying, what can you do? Really, who needs to be asked the tough questions? Who, uh, for lack of better terms, needs to have their feet held to the fire with this? Uh, I would um, strongly recommend that state attorney generals investigate what's going on right now, as well as the federal Department of Justice. I, I think we've got a serious antitrust situation with serious market dysfunction. I mean, just to just to give you an idea of what's going on, gas prices have never been this high, maybe possibly when we, they were adjusted for inflation. I don't even think they've been this high. The highest price for oil that we ever saw was back in 2008 at $149 a barrel, and it appears like we're headed there right now. Well, already we're at $125 a barrel, which is outrageous. You get a few dollars more per barrel and you could literally run your diesel truck on pure olive oil, which is a pretty good fuel, by the way. <laughs> Charles Langley talking on such an important topic to a lot of people across California and really across the country right now, gasoline. Charles Langley with Public Watchdog, thank you for being with us today.